how to make a collage in Photoscape X. Today I'm going to go through the different features that they offer and the different tips and tricks that I've found in Photoscape X. I've made dozens of videos on Photoscape X and if you want to check those out there's a playlist linked down below. So let's begin. When you first get into Photoscape X and you go over to the collage feature, so like you go from the home page over to the collage feature, you're met with this screen where you can then drag images in and you're able to move them around, you're able to shift them, things like that. And you're able to go and replace them to something else. You're able to change into different frames to for a different look or design or feel or whatever you're doing and what's nice is that there are so many to choose from and you're able to adjust with like different sliders what's going on with it and it's neat to see all the different changes you're able to make and it's pretty cool so let me go through kind of the different features starting with uh, we're gonna start with how you can adjust certain photos so uh, let me hop out of here and you can uh, also remove the photos and we'll get into all of that. So let's just drop an image in here first. So I have this image here. We're going to make it pretty big because we're just looking at the image tools and effects and changes you're able to make. So if you click on an image down below, it pops up a kind of sliders and different effects you're able to do. This gives you freedom to edit the image to a small extent without having to jump all the way into the editor and edit it all. And this is so you can have images look similar or kind of mesh together better. And I think it's really nicely done. So to begin, we have zoom. So you can have it zoomed in or zoomed out. And if you are clicking on the image itself, you can move it around if there's some freedom there and there's more of the image that's not in frame. You can move it around a little bit, but you're able to zoom in, which is nice. You're able to rotate, and this is super helpful if you're doing anything where it's kind of an odd design or something, and you still want them to be in it just a little bit or however you want to do it. But it's nice that they have that uh, available to you to have that rotation right there. And yeah, it's just a slider that you slide around. Then you can have it flip horizontally or vertically. So in this case, she's looking off in one direction. Here now she's looking off in the other direction. This can be helpful if you want the two subjects in the images to be uh, looking at each other um, or just be able to bring more attention to a certain part of the image. I think that's helpful. And then there's flipping vertically, which most of the time you won't want to flip like a portrait shot upside down, but if it's maybe an abstract photo or something like that, maybe you would want to do that. But it's nice to have the uh, flip a vertical feature in there. Next, uh, we have a few other two, a few other effects that kind of just adjust the image. We have a deepen, so that's a deepen slider, and you can just deepen the image, and that's going to make things darker, kind of crunch the colors more. It's a way to adjust um, some of the darker tones in the image. Over here we have brighten, and this can brighten up the image. And these are tools that you'll find in the normal editor in Photoscape X, but if you need a quick little change or adjustment, if something just doesn't look quite right, you can make those adjustments, and I think that's really helpful. There's also darken. Darken's gonna darken the entirety of the image, and there you go. And then over here we have temperature. This is something where you're gonna either make it a warmer tone or a much paler tone um, if you want to look at it that way so this looks like it's going on a higher Kelvin rating uh, basically is gonna make it look more blue things like that where going the opposite direction is going to make it look a whole lot more of a warmer tone so you can adjust to see what you like um, it's kind of unfortunate that they don't have like a number scale here like oh this is back to zero or back to the middle Oh, this is higher or lower. There's not really much of that, uh, but at least you have some adjustments there. So if you feel like, oh man, out of these two photos, this one's too warm. Oh, let me turn this there. Oh, that looks so much better now. So that's nice. Uh, and then you have a reset button as well where you can reset it all back to normal. That's kind of nice. But unfortunately, that reset button, I believe, like if I did a zoom, I turned it and I turned the deepen up and I go back and I hit... Uh, let's see do all that stuff well 
Actually, now that you mention it, I guess, well, this is kind of nice that they did that. So actually, it is just going to, because like if you go up deep and you deepen it, then you darken it. So you've done two adjustments. You do that. It does turn off all those different adjustments there on the bottom. Okay. Now, if I flip vertically and horizontally, that's not a reset thing. Okay. Interesting there. And then uh, go to original color. We can go with like a grayscale, sepia, black and white. You know, I'm glad that they have that there. And then, wow, this is actually kind of neat. They have the film where you're able to hop directly over to the film tab and look at the previews of the different film effects. Looks, texture, old photo, overlays. That's really nice. Uh, you learn something new every day in Photoscape X. All right. And for a free software, I'm just super pumped that it gives you that much freedom. So it definitely gives you the ability to really make a lot of adjustments here. Um, obviously not full editing capabilities, but it edits a lot there for you. So then you can make your images fit better. So those are the different options when you're talking about just the photo. I suppose I can right click here and see what we have in here. We have a full screen preview button. If you want to full screen preview the entire um, project, you have copy to clipboard, you have share, print, load project, open photo. All right, so that all looks normal, looks good. If I were to drop another photo in, yeah, it's kind of hard for the software to figure it out. But yeah, you'll have to drop just one image in here, kind of see how it goes. But yeah, that's how you mess with uh, just the one image. Now, if we're looking at the other collage features here, uh, we can hop over here to uh, the very top. We'll start with the top here. So we have the size. So this is the size of how the image is going to be exported. Now, it's set right here at 800 by 800. And you know you can change that to whatever you'd like to be. You probably should look up some different um, some different options here because there are some really good uh, tools or guides or things that you can do. Let me just show you something that I found the other day. So basically, it's like the social media size guide, and it's like, oh, here's the profile sizes. Oh, here's what you should post for like uh, Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. These different sites. And what's nice is that if you get the right uh, resolution, which is this many pixels uh, long by this many pixels high, there you go. You'll be looking really nice. So you can adjust this to be whatever you want. So like, oh, I was going to do it at 1,000. You know, you can do that. And, you know, you probably want to keep both sides the same if it's a square. But that's nice that you're able to make it uh, a certain type. Uh, it'd be really nice, though, uh, just personally, if they allowed you to, like in a really simple way, in a really simple way, be able to do like a ratio, like a 16 by nine or something like that. Um, but yeah, what you'd have to do is you'd have to do, oh, 1080 by, is it, uh, uh, what is this? What is this? Hold on one second, guys. We've got 1080 by, yeah, 1920. That's correct. Back here. So you'd have to go 1080 by 1920. And I'd have to flip them around. But there you'd have your 16 by 9 image. You could upload something like that if you got the right resolution stuff. That's like a YouTube thumbnail or different things to be able to put them side by side. Kind of a neat way of doing it. Um, but yeah, so you can do that, which is nice. Then you can go over here to spacing. Uh, this just changes how much of a frame you're going to get around each image. You can go to zero. You can go to whatever you would like it to be. You can go to margin, which is also similar to what you're talking about. It's just a different way of putting it. Um, so spacing would uh, probably be looking at spacing between the two images, and that'll change. But if you want them to be together, but still have a border around the outside, there's kind of your settings there. Okay, so back to kind of a more of a normal setup there. Roundness, so you can 
round off your images as well, which is pretty neat. You think of like adding multiple images in here. You could do some pretty cool stuff here. And just remember that when you, let me see, insert. Oh, wait a minute. Why is, <laughs> why is this so feature packed? Uh, this is crazy. Okay, you guys. So there's even an insert button down here at the bottom. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to start using this so much more now. Okay, so uh, you have the roundness. Uh, okay, you got that. You can change your backgrounds to be like a certain kind of texture or font or something like that. Um, some gradients, just uh, a transparent if you want it to be. But yeah, you can do whatever you want in there. So if there was a certain color theme or you could use the color picker in here and just select like a purple or a blue or something in there, you can get that color if you want it. Um, and yeah, you can adjust to be whatever you want it to be. Uh, you can go and select like, oh, I want there to be six images in here or uh, four images in here and these different designs and stuff. And what's neat is you're able to slide these around. You're able to adjust where they go and the shapes and things. Super interesting. Uh, so much customizability with it. Uh, just makes me happy to see all that stuff. So we have all that. Just a bunch of crazy designs too. I'm really happy they put so much in there and yeah the roundness really does help to make those images uh, what they can be so that's really cool um, if you have just the free version of Photoscape X you might be limited to some of the di different like crazy uh, frames and stuff but you still will have a good selection to be able to choose from so I'm happy about that um, other things in here you can rotate the entirety of the project if you want to do that you can flip it however you'd like Okay, so that's interesting there. Um, next you have, before we get to insert, we're gonna go to more. So you can, of course, save it as a project if you'd like to. You can view it in full screen. We've already talked about that. Clipboard, share, okay, that's all normal. The save features, that's gonna be all normal. Okay, now insert. This is gonna get interesting, you guys. So we hit insert. You can do stickers, images, figures, and text you also can do it from clipboard if you had something saved so like if i had my uh hold on like if i had this etsy thing and i had it like copied to clipboard and i went back to collage i could go insert and i could do insert from clipboard and you can still add this stuff in oh boy and then you're working with layers again okay okay so this is going to get interesting so and also, there's a lot of freedom in here. Okay, well, let's see. So we go to insert. Let's see this. So you got some stickers in here. So, and I wish there was, is there a search feature? I don't believe so. I really wish there was uh, a search feature in here. Oh, but I could get something like this where it's like love or whatever you'd like to add in there. But you can add that stuff in, which is really cool. Images. Now, let's see. Let's say you have just a random image you want to add into the photo. Okay, you can do that. You don't get the freedom, you, like you don't get the super freedom of all that stuff. Can I put it behind the images? No. This whole image here, all these inserted images are all on top of the base collage. So you can't put anything behind these other images. So that's uh, you know not the greatest, but at least you can still differentiate it from the text and this so like that I don't see anywhere where you are getting a, a list of like your different layers and things I don't think that will be available all right but you can get the images in if you had an image to put in uh, so then you also have you can do bubbles you can do designs you can do different stuff in here all right so that's cool sorry about that click the wrong button Figures, this, hit OK. It's gonna, whoopsie, gonna come right in here. Gonna drop this in, cool. Or we could like put it over here at the bottom. I don't know. So you could do different things like that, cool. And then you got text. How much text effect do you have? It looks like you actually have full access to the suite of text effects in Photoscape X, which is insane absolutely insane so like you can go to uh, let's see go over here 
I can go to my favorites. I can hit OK there. I can do my outline. And I can make the text for this video, which would be like, oh, yeah. Uh, this is the collage uh, tutorial. Um, so, like, you can do all of it in there. So, stuff like... Um, so like you can still do stuff like your long shadow, you can do your drop shadows, you can do whatever you want in here. You just have all that freedom. I think it's super cool. I think that I am going to be challenging myself to use this more for uh, some of the different um, uh, thumbnails that I'm making. This is really nice um, and something that I hardly ever hop into. That's crazy. Um, that they would do that and you get a bunch of different dynamic designs and looks and different things um yeah and you know the possibilities are endless for what you could use this all for but it's a part of photoscape x that i thought was just kind of a throwaway i'm like oh who cares i'm never gonna use collage that's actually really neat so i want to thank whoever was the person who commented asking me to make this video because this is actually a genuine <laughs> cool thing that I was able to find in here and it's really nice to be able to share this with you guys and let me know if there's any other tools or things that I kind of glossed over or that you'd like more explanation on but yes uh, in conclusion when you are saving out your project hit more save it out as a project uh, so you hit save as a project you can do collage so then you can have it saved and you can go back and make little adjustments and changes later other than that save it out as a jpeg or a png put it up there on your etsy store or youtube or whatever you do uh, but yeah this has just been uh the tutorial for how to use photoscape x the collage feature so you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye